We have reached the one year mark ahead of the Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo. Athletes from around the world will be in Japan for the 32nd Summer Olympics soon enough. And NBC will be the network bringing you all of the exciting competition as it unfolds. NBC Sports anchor Mike Tirico joins me now from Tokyo. Mike, we both have ties to Ann Arbor, Michigan, so I think this interview should go pretty well. Um, it's hard to believe the Olympics are about a year away now. I was lucky enough to cover my first <laughs> Olympics in Pyeongchang like you did. What was that experience like for you? And I have to ask, did you try the Korean barbecue? I did, Annie, and actually there's good Korean food where I live back in Ann Arbor at home, so I've sampled that between Pyeongchang and now a few times. Uh, the Olympics were even more than I thought they were going to be. I'll never forget, Annie, during the opening ceremony, and we know the tension between North and South Korea, I looked down at the floor of the stadium and saw the North and South Korean delegations marching in as one, and it hit me, only in sport and only at the Olympics do you see moments like that and it truly is this gathering of the world competing for the same thing there's someone over here and there's someone back in uh, central florida half a world apart from each other training to win this one gold medal that they're both shooting for uh, in that sport that's something special and i think the olympics you know all the way back in generations and decades and uh, still today matters to sports fans it matters to athletes and that says a lot now, outside of the opening ceremonies, now that you have had time to reflect on the Winter Olympics, was there one moment from South Korea you'll remember for years to come? I know I was lucky enough to witness that women's gold medal hockey game between the United States and Canada, and boy, that one was a fun one. Yeah, there, there were so many, and uh, in addition to the opening ceremony, which is the one that stands out for me, uh, that and then Sean White winning on that very last run. Those two things uh, are the athletic moments that just kind of jump to the front of your mind. And uh, maybe on a quiet day, if you get a chance to get on YouTube or go on NBCOlympics.com or pop in a tape that I have at home uh, and go back and watch some of those Olympic moments, you just remember how special because you're still – hoping that uh, the outcome that you're rooting for does does happen. That's the joy of the Olympics. You get emotionally wrapped up in people or things that you maybe didn't think you would three or four weeks before that. And I'm sure that we're going to have those experiences over here in Tokyo as well. Now, looking at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, do you know what you're looking forward to most? And now that you've covered one, where did the Olympics rank in comparison to the other major sporting events that you've covered? Yeah, well, the Olympics is the best of the best. Uh, quite simply, it, we wait for it every four years, summer and winter, obviously going on the couple of year cycle. But you know, every four years, we really get passionate and care about what's happening in track and field and in swimming and in sports that we don't follow perhaps on a weekly or monthly or even annual basis back in the U.S. except for the ardent hardcore fans. For me, the individuals involved, the Simone Biles in gymnastics, can she repeat her magic that we saw four years ago in Rio. In the pool, Katie Ledecky has won gold in the last two Olympic Games, multiple golds in Rio. Can she make it a third straight Olympic Games? And uh, from Central Florida, from down your way a little bit, Noah Lyles, you know, for the first time in quite some time, there's no Usain Bolt. So that title of fastest man in the world is out there. And uh, Noah Lyles is one of a couple of Americans who's gonna have a real chance to get there and has shown as we've built towards this uh, year out from the Games that he has the talent, what it takes, and the personality as well. So I think some of those stories have me excited to see how the next 11 months play out and certainly what it's going to be like a year from now right back here. Well, Mike, I hope you've had time to tour some of the Olympic venues in Tokyo. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much.